The Integrated Tactical Network, or ITN, builds upon the Army's current tactical networking environment to enhance communication capabilities. Using commercial off-the-shelf components and an integrated set of leader radios, ITN provides a simplified, independent, and mobile solution that equips expeditionary forces at the tactical edge. A secure but unclassified enclave now puts tactical information straight into the hands of those who need it most, facilitating mission command and increasing situational awareness. ITN's new technology works with advanced networking waveforms to enable resilient communications, even in disconnected, intermittent, and limited bandwidth environments. The LZ is clear and suitable for drop. Perform equipment checks and prepare to jump. For the dismounted soldier, size, weight, and power are the utmost concerns, especially when equipment must be airdropped into an area. With the improvements brought by ITN, new lightweight equipment boasts the same powerful functions. Today's soldiers carry both leader and man pack radios. These lightweight two-channel radios can send and receive signals across several waveforms, including SyncGARS, TSM, VULOS, and SATCOM. With innovations in radio technology, these are lighter, more capable, and longer lasting than previous radios, providing greater versatility at a fraction of the weight. Their reusable batteries can be charged on the go with the use of conformal wearable batteries or solar blanket chargers, effectively lightening the load our soldiers must carry. All right, Red Squad. Link up via TSM and report in. Red 2, use SATCOM to establish contact with Blue Squad. Over. Blue Leader, this is Red 2. What's your status? Over. Red 2, this is Blue Leader. We hit the LZ. All soldiers and equipment are on the ground and accounted for. We'll be ready to move toward Objective Alpha and 15 mics. Over. Each soldier carries a Net Warrior End User Device, or EUD that blends commercial smartphone technology with the new TSM terrestrial waveform to offer more operational flexibility than traditional voice communications. As forces move within range, TSM allows them to share data instantaneously with radios on the same network. Forces can share text, video, and data, including the location of foes and friendly forces, significantly reducing the risk of fratricide. Red Leader, I'm picking up all our troops on the EUD. Let's switch to TSM and move out in formation. Over. Roger, Red Leader. We'll go over. As expeditionary forces establish a new forward operating base, they must lay infrastructure to reach back to higher echelons of the Army's tactical network. The T2C2 inflatable antenna and the Scout modular antenna are lighter weight and provide a larger dish size and increased bandwidth efficiency, all in a smaller profile than ever before. They allow soldiers to deploy communications up to three times faster, creating greater mobility. In addition, tactical radio integration kits provide seamless switching between waveforms for primary, alternate, contingency, and emergency communications. We received intel that several trucks are offloading equipment in the area and may be supplying weapons and IEDs to local insurgents. We're sending a team out to investigate and call for fire on any targets we deem unfriendly and dangerous. Talk, this is Red Leader. We reach the objective area. TACP is preparing to dismount and head into the mountains. Over. Roger, Red Leader. We'll keep eyes on them. It's rugged terrain and they may lose connection. Be ready to prep VHA if they get disconnected. Over. Roger. We'll wait for your command. Over. In the heat of combat, communications cannot be lost. Soldiers rely on resilient networks to keep in contact when they need it most. One of ITN's greatest strengths is multipath diversity. Soldiers can use government assets to connect to the internet and access the NetWarrior cloud server. If these assets are unavailable, soldiers can use local cellular assets, including MiFi or an MBK. In hotly contested areas where cellular may be compromised, TSM can use line of sight to connect to advantaged nodes, such as vehicle mounted radios and variable height antennas, or VHAs, to gain access to necessary tactical data. Talk. This is TACP. We lost TSM as we went over the peak, requesting a relay to get us back on the network. Over. 
Roger, Tag P. We'll have a VHA launch for range extension. You should be back up momentarily. Over. With the use of VHAs, radio relays can be attached to tethered drones to increase line of sight capability. With TSM self-healing network capabilities, as soon as a relay is in range, the dismounted soldier is instantaneously reconnected to the network. Doc, Tag P. Trucks have been spotted facing south and southwest. Three hostiles with assault weapons are unloading boxes from the truck. Looks like they're IEDs. They may be waiting for nightfall to lay charges. Over. Roger, Tag P. Get a positive confirmation on their position and request call for fire. Over. Roger, Wilco. Over. ITN is simple and intuitive, enabling the warfighter to observe, orient, decide, and act faster than the enemy in any mission environment. It ensures multipath diversity, working to seamlessly provide communications, no matter what the mission requires. ITN provides resilient voice, data, and video capability with a dynamic network that is upgradable over time. Linked to ITN's cloud server, soldiers can send and receive data to any command center around the world, creating a more robust tactical picture to benefit soldiers, allies, and coalition partners. Even in the most challenging and remote environments, ITN puts the necessary tools straight into the hands of our soldiers, ensuring they have the intel and situational awareness to get the job done and return home safely.